How's it going guys? Welcome back to another JHR review. And today we're going to be looking at a My Modi Enjoy Your Music MP3 player. Now this looked really interesting on the Amazon posting, so let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging, which I find to be very nice. It has a nice kind of textured kind of outside to it. Kind of a little bit of a reflective sheen, almost kind of looks silver on the camera. Inside of that, it has a sticker on the side right here that says uh, MP3 player with Bluetooth 5.0 black, new and made in China. So let's go ahead and set this down real quick. All right, now let's go ahead and open it up. So right here we have the mp3 player right here and if you notice i'm doing a different camera angle transition which i think looks kind of cool let me know what you think of the comments below because i think some things need a little bit of a different angle to be able to kind of show off how nice they are all right let's go ahead and remove this here we go and this is the packaging that it's in let's go ahead and move it to the side it's a very kind of soft cellophane feeling kind of thing. A foam protection. A breakaway thing. You just pull this out. And it comes with a pair of headphones. and a micro USB charger. And if I sound a little bit different today, it's my throat, it's, it's that season. So trying to get past the a sick feeling. Let's go ahead and take this out of here. It has a nice weight to it. And here it is, it says, Please peel off the mask after application complete. So it looks like it comes pre-installed with a tempered glass screen protector. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's go ahead and zoom in on that. Yeah, it has a tempered glass screen protector already installed on it. How cool is that? And then it also has a micro SD card slot right there. It's the on and off buttons, along with the charging port and headphone jack. Hello iPhones. And we also have a up and down for the volume rocker, along with some kind of thing right here. I think it's the lock key. Let's go ahead and open this real quick. The little screen protector thing. That's satisfying and it stuck to my hand. So this is what the screen looks like. And it's really impressive that it has an imp a protective layer on it already. I mean, I'm pretty sure I could be wrong, but I am almost 100% positive. I don't know if you can see right there that there's a little lip right there. I believe that is an already installed screen protector but I'm not going to pick at it and test it out. All right, let's go ahead and turn this thing on and see how it works. Oh, also on the back, it has a built-in speaker too. So that's a neat little thing they got going on right there. I'm assuming we hold down the lock button or press the on switch. There we go. <laughs> All right, looks like it's turning on. Okay, that's pretty cool. I like um, I like things that aren't cell phones that have touch screens. It's a, uh, I don't know, it's just something. Ever since I had my first uh, iPhone, not iPhone, uh, iPod Touch, third generation, I've been fascinated with non cell phone based things. Let's move this out of the way. There we go. So let's see, we have photos. Obviously, there's no files, so I guess it exits you out. We have video. Nothing. 
It says we can record though. It says start recording. How's it going guys? Welcome back to another JHR review. about what I would expect for a mp3 player microphone. Um, very sensitive though, so you definitely be able to pick up a lot of different stuff. Let's go back. And now we have books, so I believe you can read books on here too, that's really cool. Obviously there's nothing in there, so it's just going to close out, which is interesting that it does that. One other cool thing is, is it already has a battery charge. I always say if there's battery charge in it when it comes in, I, I'm very grateful so I don't have to unbox it and then plug it in to unbox it because you kind of have to be able to test the product when you get it, you know? All right, and now we have tools. So we have Bluetooth, and you can just turn that on right there. It says searching, but I don't really have anything uh, Bluetoothy around me. Let me see. Alright, so I did a quick search, and I was able to find my HDX Titanium. So if you just click on it, it'll connect. That's a little bit loud, but it connected. Don't worry about the static sounding, that's actually the speaker I got it from Goodwill. So it actually connects to Bluetooth, which is very good, which I'm assuming it would have, but I always gotta test it out just to make sure. It says, Decompression Artifact which is interesting, I'm not sure what that is. That's actually kind of cool, that's like a little miniature piano. So you can record yourself doing this and you can make notes on here. It looks like we have different things too. That is actually kind of cool. You know, this would be great for a kid too, because if they wanted to like have something like a phone, or maybe they're not old enough for that, they could definitely listen to music on this, and they could have fun pressing on the little piano keys. I don't think I'm pressing hard enough. There we go. Very cool. And now it has a radio as well. All right, so we went ahead and got a connection on the radio. As you can hear, there is some music coming from it. It isn't the best um, radio thing that I've ever seen. Um, it's a little bit um, staticky. I can't seem to hone in on a good signal. That could be user error, but uh, it also could be the device as well. Um, but I wasn't really you know, too interested in listening to radio anyways. I think if you're going to listen to radio, you'll be listening for the songs you like, and then you just put the songs on the MP3 player. So there's that. You have a calendar, which is a Google-looking calendar. And it looks like you can add notes as well. And then we have a stopwatch, which works as a stopwatch. There we go. And then of course we have a calculator. It looks like there's some kind of games on here, like uh, kind of the old style phone games, which is kind of cool. So right here we have Tetris. Sorry, I'm not used to this camera angle. I keep pointing it downward. All right, number before start, let's just press start. So we can rotate the piece. Kind of cool. Definitely would be fun for like if you wanted to get this for your kids or something like that. I'm going to have this linked in the description below. For what it is, it's actually pretty good. Touchscreen's pretty responsive. Um, I just feel like I'm used to using my cell phone, so I don't press it hard enough. I think this might be, it's not a resistive touchscreen but I definitely think you need to tap it a little bit more harder in order to be able to get the desired effect. But I, I'm always afraid I'm gonna see that's a lot better. Yeah, that's how you tap on it. I'm gonna exit that. And I'm not gonna check out all of the games in here. I think that uh, we pretty much get what kind of games these are. And then, uh, yeah, 
We also have some tools, it looks like, which we already went through. And then the general settings, brightness, goes up pretty bright. Um, it has a screen timer for uh, if you um, want to set to where the screen turns off for a certain amount of time. And then this is 8 gigabytes, so you can hold up pretty much, I'd say, a few thousand songs can hold up in the, in the gigabytes of using B3s. And then they have advanced. Looks like you can format, factory settings. It had a save electricity option, so probably a battery save. And then volume as well. But you can also expand the storage with a card, a TF card or a micro SD. And that can give you pretty much as much as you want. And yeah. So here we are. This is test music. Let's go ahead and try that out. Turn that down a little bit. All music. Test music. And this is directly from the speaker that's inside of it. Funniest thing. That is a original version of a Nightcore song that I normally would like listening to. I think it's called Moonlight Shadow. Yeah, except this is the original version. That is hilarious that I actually know the test music on here. That's so cool. And I think that's it. And everything that we've done on here so far hasn't drained any batteries, so that's a good sign. And then, uh, yeah. Pretty nice glass on the back. Gonna get fingerprints though, as you can see. But that's pretty much with anything that has a glass back, including iPhones or Samsung. And then I believe on the outside this is actually a metallic shell it's not plastic so that's actually pretty premium and the these are also uh, plastic uh, most buttons are plastic though but yeah and uh just charge it up with micro usb and i think you're good to go all in all i think this is a pretty great mp3 player with a lot of extra options in it but yeah what do you guys think I think it's a pretty decent mp3 player and I'll have it linked in the description below. I think the only thing that I found that wasn't perfect but still worked was the radio and that could be just because of the area that I'm currently in. But yeah, a huge shout out to my Patreons. Thank you guys so much for your support. You guys are awesome. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.